we're looking at an installation or a replacement of an AC unit on a Vanquish 48. The vessel is a 2016 uh, and came from the factory installed with a Webasto 20,000 BTU unit, uh, self-contained. We have two discharges, one over here, one over there. Um, so the unit from the factory was back here in this hole, as ours is as well. But there's one main difference, so we had to redo the installation as the old unit was mounted right here on this base. The intake was very high, it was coming up to about here. And this was just where the valve was, the, the strainer was even higher. Over here we had the pump mounted, so the pump was always running dry, it burned out the pump. Uh, so we ended up, and so the unit being mounted over here, it was sucking in all the air from this bilge base. As you can see, there's a lot of space in here. And going back over there, that, that opening in the back, that's to the engine room. So we have a lot of communicating space in here. So the unit was very inefficient. So we have our 17 here. We have the evaporator directly against um, this bulkhead here. Sealed off so that we're getting only return from the cabin. Two returns here under the stairs to make it nice and discreet. We also have this third one, but another thing about these return vents is they give us plenty of access as we can easily pop them off. Look inside and pop them back on. Uh, we replaced all the ducting, um, put a new splitter in there, so it's very inefficient. So here you see the access points that we opened up. There's no access anywhere in here, so now we have three access points, very easy to remove, it's just four screws. And this is all covered with, um, with furniture afterwards. And then we have these three drawers that go right here. So we decided to do instead of having our old setup, is we have the pump strainer and valve right here. So we have our little pump right over here, comes up with reinforced hose. Here we have the strainer, very easy to clean. It's very easily accessible. Um, we can even do it with the, with the drawers in place. And then we put a valve here just for ease of access. The real valve is that one in the back, but so that the owner wouldn't have to go all the way in there to clean his strainer, he just closes up here, cleans the strainer, um, and, uh, and that's it. And then we have this little loop that just goes on top just to make it look a bit nicer. Access into cleaning the strainer. So basically now we just pull this. See my little eye hole right here in the back. I pop it up, I take it with me. was mounted before these three cabinets have to come off um, the back wall piece have to come off they came off so much that they just didn't put one back and it was a process that no one ever took care of and now we're going to leave the vessel so we left everything clean left the manual the spec sheet of our unit 
and now the customer is ready to go out. So now we're over here. We're going to turn off the generator. So now the customer's ready for their trip.